there's been speculation about where he might be traded to. And apparently Aaron Rodgers was intrigued by the Las Vegas Raiders. Very interesting kind of random team. So let's first take a look at the Raiders, and then I'm going to provide some teams and some t- potential destinations and landing spots that I think Aaron Rodgers would absolutely thrive in and would be wise to take a look at if he is seriously considering leaving the Green Bay Packers. Again, from a talent perspective, from a winning situation, doesn't get much better than the Green Bay Packers. But if he's seriously adamant about leaving Green Bay, then these would be the options that I would recommend. Now, first, let's start with the Las Vegas Raiders. I understand the Raiders were 8-8 eight and eight last year. And they said that they were happy with Derek Carr, but we know John Gruden. He hosted Gruden's QB camp on ESPN before that that show. He would love to get his hands on Aaron Rodgers. So the the, the Raiders, I understand the Vegas Raiders who were eight and eight last year, and in seven seasons with Derek Carr have gone 47 and 63. I understand why they'd be interested in Aaron Rodgers. But if you're Aaron Rodgers, yes, you're in Las Vegas, but you're in the AFC West, man. You got to face Patrick Mahomes twice a year now you have to face Justin Herbert twice a year and the Chargers are going to be a lot better he's ascending the team's ascending the worst team in the AFC West will be the Broncos and they've got an elite defense that was just strengthened by drafting Patrick Sertan so I wouldn't recommend going to the AFC West if you're going to travel to the AFC why would you want to face Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert combined four times a year That doesn't seem like the optimal spot for me. So if I'm Aaron Rodgers, these are the realistic trading spots, potentially, and landing spots that I would strongly consider. Number one, the Washington football team. This absolutely makes sense. You're You're in the easiest division in the NFL, the NFC East. The Washington football team won the NFC East last year going seven and nine. So you're almost guaranteed a playoff spot. You've got you had the number two ranked defense. They were the number two ranked defense in the NFL last year. Top six against uh, uh, against the pass or number two against the pass. Rather, they were number six in sacks last year. Top six in sacks, number two overall defense and against the pass. And you've got some really nice weapons. Terry McLaurin. You just signed Curtis Samuel in the offseason. Logan Thomas, your big tight end provides a different type of threat. No, none of them are Devontae Adams. And Antonio Gibson, the running back, while he's showing promise, sure, he's not he, he's not what, what the Packers were having before. But at the same time, if you have to move somewhere, if you have to move, again, he's not Aaron Jones, I get it. But the Washington football team would be a really good spot. They, they are in a big market. Washington, D.C. is a big market. They've got the cap space and flexibility to sign him. They've got roughly $39 million in cap space to absorb his contract. So if you're going to leave, that's the number one spot I'd go to. At number two, the San Francisco 49ers. They tried this trade before. The San Francisco 49ers tried to trade Trey Lance, or at the time, the number three overall pick, probably Jimmy Garoppolo and some other pieces for Aaron Rodgers. And I actually think if you're the Green Bay Packers, take a step back. If there is no way for you to salvage this relationship, and it's truly inevitable, and you don't want to part ways with Gutenkutz, and it's inevitable that he is going to leave, this is a great deal for you. Because you get back a guy in Trey Lance, you can see, is it Trey Lance or is it Jordan Love? You've got two potential really promising prospects on your team. And for the 49ers, makes perfect sense for Aaron Rodgers because you're inheriting a great coach in Kyle Shanahan, a winning situation, a roster that's ready to win now that is returning healthy. Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, these guys are going to be healthy. Solomon Thomas, this this team, Fred Werner is, is coming back. He's going to be healthy. So, The 49ers would make a ton, a ton of sense if you're Aaron Rodgers. You get to go back home. He's from the Bay Area, so he's from Northern California. So the stars would be aligning if he was to be traded there. That would be a perfect fit. Then number three, the New Orleans Saints. I think the Saints could be a potential landing spot. Drew Brees is gone. 
And what you go to is not only a great offensive minded coach who would care about the offensive side of the football in in Sean Payton, but you've got an actual legitimate number one wide receiver on the same level as Devontae Adams in Michael Thomas. You got Michael Thomas, you got Alvin Kamara, you've got a brilliant offensive scheme in place. The defense is still good. Cameron Jordan. Marshawn Lattimore, this team is still is still a really good team. They're just missing a quarterback, and you'd come in and obviously be the starter over Jameis Winston. And I just think that – and Taysom Hill. So I think the Saints, yes, you face Tom Brady twice a year. That's true. But you can kind of beat up on the Panthers and the Falcons a little bit. Not as easily, but still overall as a division, it is not the most arduous path it's not the most difficult division in the NFL at number four I know that this is going to seem like absolute blasphemy I've been preaching this since the offseason if you're the Indianapolis Colts I know you traded for Carson Wentz just just move off him already before the season starts make a trade for Aaron Rodgers if the Indianapolis Colts got their hands on Aaron Rodgers look out This roster is absolutely loaded. They've got studs all over the field on both sides of the ball. Frank Reich is, again, a great coach. Aaron Rodgers would absolutely be wonderful, would be magical fit with Indianapolis. Yes, be willing to pay some more dead cap money. I'm sorry. Move off of Carson Wentz. Take on Aaron Rodgers. That's what you should do if you are the Indianapolis Colts. And then finally, just for sentimental reasons, the last pick would be the Minnesota Vikings. You could pull a Brett Favre. Finish your career with your rival. Really stick it to the Packers by deciding to play like 70 miles away. I'm not sure the distance between Minnesota and Green Bay or Minneapolis and Green Bay. If someone knows, Give me a shout out. I should know that I went to Wisconsin, but I never actually went to Minnesota. So I don't know the distance, but I would imagine it's within 100 miles. You could pull a Brett Favre there. 